Psamtik II was a king of the site-based 26th dynasty of Egypt. His prenomen, Neferibri, means beautiful, is the part of Re. He was the son of Neko II. Campaigns and Battles Psamtik II led a foray into Nubia in 592 BC, marching as far south as the third or even the fourth cataract of the Nile, according to a contemporary stella from Thebes which dates to year three of this king's name and refers to a heavy defeat that was inflicted upon the kingdom of Cush, a well-known graffito inscribed in Greek on the left leg of the colossal seated statue of Rameses II. On the south side of the entrance to the Temple of Abba Symbol records that, when King Samaticus came to Elephantine, this was written by those who sailed with Samaticus the son of Theocles and they came beyond Kirkus as far as the river permits. Those who spoke foreign tongues were led by Potashinto, the Egyptians by Amasus. Kirkus was located near the fifth cataract of the Nile, which stood well within the Kushite kingdom. This was the first confrontation between Egypt and Nubia since the reign of Tantamani. A Kushite king named Anlamani had revived the power of the kingdom of Naparta. Samtik II's campaign was likely initiated to destroy any future aspirations the Kushites may have had to reconquer Egypt. The Egyptian army advanced to Penubs and the capital city of Naparta in a series of fierce battles, where they looted its temples and destroyed the royal Kushite statues. The Kushite capital was sacked under the reign of the native Kushite king Aspelta who was the younger brother of Anlimani and the son of Senkamaniskan. The year 3 Karnak stella is dated to 2 Shemu day 10 of Samtik II's reign and states that the army that your majesty sent to Nubia has reached the land of Penubs. Nubians from all parts of Kush had arisen against him, their hearts full of anger when he attacked those who had rebelled against him there, because he was furious at those who had arisen against him. His majesty took part in the combat as soon as he reached the battle. The rebels capitulated before a single arrow was unleashed against them. Those who tried to flee did not succeed and were brought back as prisoners. 4,200 men. As a result of Samtik's devastating campaign, Kush's power was crushed, and its kings from Aspelta onwards lost any opportunity of ever regaining control of Egypt. Instead, the Nubian rulers decided to shift their capital further south from Naparta to the relative safety of Moro. Curiously, however, Samtik II does not appear to have capitalized on his victory. His troops retreated back to the first cataract, and Elephantine continued to be the southern border of Egypt. An outcome of this campaign was the deliberate destruction of monuments belonging to the 25th dynasty Kushite kings in Egypt by hacking out their names and the emblems of royalty from their statues and reliefs. Later, in 591 BC, during the fourth year of his reign, Samtik II launched an expedition into Palestine to foment a general Levantine revolt against the Babylonians that involved, among other, Zedekiah of the Kingdom of Judah, monuments. Samtik II was both a dynamic warrior pharaoh as well as a prolific builder in his brief six-year reign. A significant site temple was likely built by Samtik II and his son Apris at the village of El Mahela El Cobra which lies equidistant from Sabenitos and Babiat El Hager in the Lower Nile Delta. Officials from the Napoleonic expedition to Egypt observed an extraordinary number of pharaonic building elements of granite and turquoise reused in modern buildings. At this site, this discovery was subsequently confirmed by Nesta Lotta in 1828 who counted more than 120 granite columns built into this village's mosque alone. A 1.8-metre-long fragment of red granite with the name of Samtik II and a door lintel of Apris was also seen at El Mahela El Kubra. Under Samtik II's reign, a pair of more than 21.79-metre-high obelisks were erected in the temple of Heliopolis, the first emperor of Rome. Augustus later had one of the obelisks 
today known as the Obelisk of Montessorio, which had probably been thrown down by the Persian invaders in 525 BC, brought to Rome in 10 BC. Samtik II also constructed a kiosk on Philly Island. This kiosk today represents the oldest known monument known on the island and consisted of a double row of four columns, which were connected by screen walls. Samtik II was also responsible for founding the temple house at Abyss in El Carga Oasis for the triad of Ammon, Mut, and Khonsu with significant installations for the cult of Osiris. This 19.5 x 26-meter temple was originally situated on the bank of an ancient lake which has now disappeared and its temple decorations were only completed under the Persian kings Darius I and possibly Darius II. The Herbis temple consisted of a hypostyle hall with two by two papyrus capital columns, a hall of offerings three sanctuaries in the rear section of the temple and a chapel at the side of the sanctuaries for the cult of Samtik II. The front of the temple, House of Herbis, featured a pronounce with four papyrus bundle columns and screen walls. During the construction of the pronounce, the side walls were extended for the addition of a court yard. This extension was, however, only carried out in the 30th dynasty by Nectanebo I and Nectanebo II. The eight papyrus columns of the pronounce still show the New Kingdom type of open, bell-shaped capitals. A massive sandstone gateway through an outer enclosure wall still stands almost 5 meters tall and was constructed during the Ptolemaic or Roman periods. Many inscriptions and decrees were carved on the gateway on a wide variety of topics such as taxation, inheritance, the court system and the rights of women, with the earliest texts dating to 49 AD. The temple of Samtik II at Habis was completely preserved until 1832 when its roof and portions of the temple were removed for the construction of an aluminium factory. Only excavation work by the Metropolitan Museum of Art in 1910-1911 and restorations performed by the Egyptian Antiquities Service arrested its decline. Today, the Herbis Temple remains, together with the Oracle or Ammonion of SIWA, as the best preserved and best documented temple of the early Egyptian late period and is therefore a primary monument to the history of Egyptian temple building. Successo. When Samtik II died in 589 BC, he was succeeded by Apris who was his son by Queen Takat, a princess of Athribus. Samtik and Queen Takat were also the parents of Menahabes, a priestess of Atum at Heliopolis, and Ankhnes Neferiba, a god's wife of Amun who was served in this powerful office in Upper Egypt through to the remainder of the site period in 525 BC when Egypt was conquered by the Persians. The date of Samtik II's death is mentioned in the adoption stella of Ankhenes Neferiba. Year 7, Iakit Day 23.